Hello, my beautiful Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. Uh, I am posting all 12 signs on there. I also have a Leo and Virgo only channel. The links to those channels are below, okay? Um, readings can be vice versa, my loves. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. Um, and I also also go live once a month and I do a giveaway. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, okay? Um, I choose the winners from that live, so make sure those notification bells are on and popping, okay? Um, <clears throat> I don't take personal readings, my loves, so any phone numbers that you see below in the comment section are not me. If anyone reaches out to you on social media, it's not me, okay? Um, uh, Barbara, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I was about to just say. Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot uh, takes personal readings. I could recommend her. The link to book with her is below. Um, super special shout out to Carly from Lilith's Window Tarot. Um, she has decided to go full time on YouTube. I'm super excited for her. So guys, if you'd like to swing by, show some love, support, love and support, welcome her to the YouTube family. Um, it would make my heart happy. Okay. All right. So let's get popping here. Right before I got on this reading, I ate some cashews and I love cashews, but I haven't had cashews in a long time. And when I ate them, I was like, oh my God, why haven't I, you know, I haven't, oh my God, they're so good. Like I haven't, you know, tasted them in so long and they're so good. So Cancer, I don't take, you know, before I get on a reading, I don't take anything that happens uh, as coincidence. Um, so Cancer, for some of you, there may be uh, an either a hobby or a food or a person or just a feeling, an overall feeling that you haven't had in a long time coming in for you, okay? Uh, and it's just gonna feel so good, okay? Maybe you guys start working out again or start eating healthier again it's just an energy of oh my god I forgot how good this felt okay for some of you maybe you haven't had sexy time in a long time and now you're like oh I forgot what that was like <laughs> I've been missing out um all right so let's see what we have here from my beautiful cancer babies please spirit tell me about cancer in love sun moon rising venus tell me about cancer in love we've got pursuit and we've got finality. Tell me about cancer in love. We've got heartstrings and we've got obsession. Tell me about cancer in love. We've got revenge and we've got dismiss. We've got magnifying glass. We've got ego. Foresight. Okay. Cancer, someone is ending something to be with you. And I mean, I'm talking like done like they're they're really cutting something off or cutting something out to be with you. Cancer, I feel like this person is obsessed with getting you back. If they have to go as far as like getting you pregnant or something like that, like that, like this person just wants to catch you. Catch me if you can type energy. They just want to catch you and have you. Okay. Dismiss and revenge. Cancer, I, I feel like, you know, listen, we never want to speak these words out loud because we don't want to look bad. It's going to feel good. 
to cut someone off here. It's going to feel good. I, I feel like you're just so we've got a, a person chasing you and you dismissing another person. So I don't know if this is all the same person cancer, like this person is ending something with someone to come towards you and you're going to dismiss them. And that will be their karma. I, I feel like, you know, there's a little bit on, on your end here, cancer, there's a little sense of, oh, well, you know, and, and it feels good. And listen, that's okay. We're all human. It doesn't make you a horrible person. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make you a horrible person, but there's a little bit of an energy of you kind of being in the ego with your little, you know, Sylvester, the cat smile, like, yeah, I knew you'd be back. You know, it, it's kind of like you dismissing somebody. Um, so I don't know if this is the, the, the ex that's coming back towards you obsessively, or if this is another person we're going to see. I don't know why I feel like you might have two people coming towards you. One person that's ending something to be with you. And then you may have another person that you're dismissing. And it's kind of like you're getting your revenge, you know, who laughs good, who, who laughs last, you're getting the final laugh. Okay. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing. And this is going to happen soon. This is going to happen soon. Um, I feel that, um, let me tell you why I feel like this might be someone else cancer, because I feel like you're going to have proof and it's going to feel good. Like, no, I'm with someone else. And this person's like, no, you're not. And you get to send like a selfie of you, you know, loving up on somebody. Do you understand? That's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting. Oh no, I'm with someone else. Like, and you get to like send a picture or send proof. Like it's, it's going to make your ego feel good. You're getting the last laugh here, cancer. Okay. You're getting the last laugh here. Um, and I don't feel like it's coming from a place of bitterness or spite. I feel like it's coming from a place of justice. Like, yeah, I'm happy and I'm, you know, being loved and I'm doing what I got to do and you can just eat your heart out. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's not coming from a place of spite. All right, let's see here. Tell me about pursuit for cancer. Tell me about pursuit for cancer. The five of swords. Tell me about finality and the eight of swords, the star card and the two of cups. Oh, someone's in love. You got pursuit and you've got chariot. Okay. You've got the four of pentacles. I want to make you mine. Three of cups. Can we meet up? There is someone here that is leaving a situation behind five of swords finality because they can't stop thinking about you. Cancer. There is someone here that is head over heels in love with you. And it's a very over, it's like a possessive energy of, listen, I don't care what I got to lose, who I got to cut off, where I got to go, how far I got to travel. I want you to be mine. Do you understand? I want you to be mine. And with five of wands and revenge here and the queen of wands, you are now the prize. There is someone here that walked away from you that is going to pop up with a message. They're going to want to talk cancer. They're going to want to make peace with you. They're going to want to, you know, they want your forgiveness and all that good stuff. And with the devil and the ace of cups, cancer, you're going to dismiss this person because where this person chose everyone else but you, this new person will choose you over anyone. Am I making sense here? This new person will choose you over anyone, even over themselves. They will choose you. That's the type of love that you have coming in for you. Whereas this past person chose everyone but you, you were, you weren't even on this person's list. You were like last priority, the last thing that they thought about ever. You know, you see what I'm saying? When this person comes back around to try to make amends with you, you get to throw this beautiful new connection in their face. And as much as you don't want it to feel good, it's going to baby. And it's okay. Soak it up. You deserved it. I mean, this person one up to you plenty of times in the past. This person had you feeling, getting you in your feet feelings and had you feeling stupid plenty of times in the past. And this is karma, you know, those tables turn. And now you get to be like, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm loved right now. I don't got time for you. I'm, I'm in the process of being loved. And this is going to happen way sooner than you think. Way sooner than you think, Cancer. I mean, you could be sitting at home right now, heartbroken, going through a breakup, you, you know, missing this person, hoping that they'll call. 
and you've got someone that is so in love with you that th you're going to end up meeting somebody. I, I don't know who this new person is or who this person is coming towards you, but someone is going to choose you over everything else or anyone else. And by the time this past person actually does come back around, you're going to be in a whole different vibe. So Cancer, you're, you could be in your pajamas that you've been wearing for four days now in a robe. Your hair hasn't been washed in God knows how long. You did, nothing is shaved. You're a mess right now. Just walking around, eating a, a bucket of fried chicken, just walking around with the bucket under your arm, moping around, listening to me. And you have no idea where your life is going to be in a very short amount of time. In a very short amount of time, things are gonna change for you, Cancer. You're gonna have the last laugh here. Your, your life is gonna be completely different by the time they come back around. Loyalty and resentment. Loyalty and resentment. Tell me about Cancer, please. Loss. Oh, they're gonna get nasty with you and conflicted. This person is going to be big mad that they lost you to another option. They're going to be like, you were so you, you know, you were never loyal to me. You're supposed to be loyal to me. You're supposed to love me. You told me you would never leave me. You told me all this shit. This person is going to be bitter and angry. They gave you the beautiful gift of bitterness and anger and resentment and pain. And all you did, Cancer, was give it back. You regifted it. You said, you know what? I don't need this shit in my house. Let me slap a bow on it and give it right back to this person. That's what you did. You gave that, that, that beautiful gift that they gave to you. You packed it up real nice in a little gift bag with little glitter and, and sparkles and everything. And you handed it right back to them because cancer, this person is losing you to somebody. They're losing you to somebody and they, the, the, the grief that they're going to feel because they thought that you would forever just be sitting home. No matter what this person did to you, no matter what they said to you, no matter what they did, no matter where they went, you, they thought you'd always be sitting by the window waiting for them to pull up. Nope. Not today, Satan. Not today, Satan. Confessions and intimacy and new beginnings. Cancer, you're going to tell this person that you have slept with someone else, that you're in love with someone else, and that you have started a new relationship. And this person, it's going to stop their heart. It's like that saying, I mean, listen, this could be a man on man, female on female, whatever the case may be. But there's a saying that says, you know, a woman will forgive a man cheating a thousand times, right? But if you cheat on a man one time, it'll shut down his whole respiratory system. That is the core foundation of this reading, okay? Whoever is in their masculine energy, even if it's a female, whoever's in their masculine energy here, and this is the masculine energy on this side, when they find out that the person that they are trying to reconcile with is in a happy, new, loving relationship and has had sex with someone else, it's gonna shut down their whole, their whole, their whole respiratory system. Yep. They're going to say, they're going to say that this feminine energy has been cheating on them the whole time. They're going to say like, they're really going to throw some accusations out there. This person is not going to take this well. You're getting the last laugh and they are not handling this well. Tell me about loyalty here. The Empress. I thought you were my wife. I thought you were my boo. I thought you were my husband. I thought you were my baby mama, my baby daddy. I thought you would always be by my side. I thought you were my ride or die. I thought this, I thought that, and I thought this. But guess what, Cancer? Seven of Pentacles and Justice. This is just their own behavior coming back around to bite them in the conads. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> this is their own behavior coming back around. This is their past behavior coming back around to bite them. Okay. Tell me about loss here, please, for cancer. And the two of pentacles, they can't believe it. They can't believe that if anyone was going to actually cut off this relationship, like, really cut it off, not just a break, you know, like they can't believe that if anyone was really going to shut the door in anyone's face, that it was going to be you. 
I mean, you would assume that it's going to be them because obviously they're cheating, lying, doing all types of messed up shit here. You know what I'm saying? They would have assumed that it would have been them that would have cut you off cold to go be with someone else. No, it's you, Cancer. You're going to be the one to shut the door on this relationship and lock it because you have someone here that's putting you on a pedestal. You've got someone here that they can't believe it. Like how? How did this even happen? Um, conflicted here and the fool. Someone can't believe that you moved on from them. And see, look, it's funny because that fool card is the dog. And it's interesting because dogs represent loyalty. Do you understand? You got two dogs here. They represent loyalty, Cancer. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I, I feel like this person's like, I can't believe that the person that I've, that the most loyal person I know has left me in the dust for someone else. Tell me about confession here. Seven of, of cups. This person can't believe what they're hearing because you're going to tell them. You're going to tell them the truth. Tell me about intimacy. The judgment card in the reverse. I'm not going to give you another chance. I've already slept with this person. I'm already in a relationship with the Knight of Swords here and the Queen of Pentacles, Cancer. This is coming in fast. That's what it is. It's happening so fast that this person just can't believe it. Tell me about beginning here for Cancer and the Six of Swords. You moved on to something new. By the time they come back around, they cannot believe how quickly that you've moved on. The Two of Swords and the Moon, they can't believe it. There's no way. There's no way you're cutting me out. There's no way that, you know, you're you're not opening the door for me. There's no way you don't love me anymore. The Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords and the Five of of cups cancer you cannot handle this person you know this person's gonna have a, a, a pinch of regret here because they're realizing that you really couldn't take the lying the cheating and the deception anymore what happens is when people act that way they lie they steal they cheat they deceive they they make promises and don't keep them and people stay with them what that teaches them is that you will deal with their bullshit forever and ever and ever never once do people like this sit back and say man i'm, I'm pushing it too far you know, uh, cancer has forgiven me 10 times already. You know, I, I'm pushing it too far. Eventually the day is going to come where they're going to leave. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. People like this, the more you forgive them, the more they see a green light to go and fuck up. That's just the way it is with these people, with people that act like this. The more you forgive them, they don't appreciate that forgiveness. They don't say, okay, well, I got one more chance. I'm going to do the best I can with this one chance because cancer is going to leap. They don't, they don't see it that way. The way this person saw it was you are always there to forgive. You're always waiting by your phone. You're always at the window waiting for them to come home. And now you're in this relationship glowing, being put on a pedestal and you're having the last laugh and they can't believe it. They can't believe it, Cancer. I mean, it is like their world. You're about to like this world. This person's world is going to come crashing down. Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Now they're realizing what they could have had with you, Cancer. They're realizing that if they would have worked on this relationship, um, how great it could have been. How great it could have been, but it's too late now because with the Death card, you're giving that opportunity to someone else with that Six of Pentacles. You're giving that opportunity to somebody else. The position has been filled. I'm sorry. The position has been filled. That's what you're telling them. Okay. All right. So Cancer, let's take it into the extended. Let's find out a little bit more about this new person. Okay. Uh, is this a twin flame soulmate? You know, what do they look like? Um, what's going to happen here between you and this new person? Is this going to be long term? Is this going to be your forever person? Let's get some details on that. And um, I mean, we can take a look at this past person and see what kind of karma they're going to pay. But I feel more so that the karma that they're going to pay cancer is going to be losing you. You know, I mean, that that's the karma that they're going to pay. You're getting the last laugh here. So we're going to take a look at this new love coming in for you. And I'll also pull from um, my future predictions oracle to see what else you guys have in, coming in. Okay. All right, guys, the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys there. Take care, my darlings.